Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm gonna talk about the breakdown in Raton, New Mexico uh, with my 2008 Honda Going and talk to you about the ups and downs and the journey to get the bike fixed, which was pretty cool. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle I was riding south on Interstate 25 near the uh, near the state line of Colorado and New Mexico, and then I started hearing this noise. Uh, you ever heard the sound that you get from putting a playing card in on a bicycle between the spokes and hearing that sound? That's what I was hearing with the uh, motorcycle. And so I pulled over to look to see what was stuck in the wheel or whatever, and I didn't find anything. So I continued on, and the sound got worse. About a mile north of the con, I was going about like 40 miles an hour down the freeway where people were going down 70. Passing me up. And I pulled into Raton and pulled into the nearest hotel there, which was the Roadway Inn. And I pulled over and looked at the bike and I just could not find anything wrong with it from the outside, but I was still hearing the noise. So I recorded the noise, uh, sent it to my mechanic friend over in Joshua, Texas, Paul, and he said that he thinks it's either the rear end or the drive shaft. So I'm going, oh my gosh, so I got to get this bike back to the Fort Worth, Dallas area. So uh, uh, I made a video and uh, asked people if they could help get the bike over there and back, which was absolutely awesome and fantastic on the response I got. If you wanna see it, it's right there. But it was basically me asking for help and what the bike was doing. Um, so from there, I got the I got a room at that that roadway in and it was about like forty seven dollars a night. Uh, it used to be a Motel Six. I stayed there for one night, expecting to have to stay there anywhere from two to three days, or maybe even a week, uh, figuring out how to get my bike back to Dallas Fort Worth. Yes, I know I should have had AAA. I used to, but I don't anymore. I got it back now just for this reason. Um, but there are a ton of friends out there that just reached out and offered their help. My friend Rich, he offered and I took him up on the offer and he came out with a trailer that was not long enough for both the bike and my trailer. So I decided to leave the trailer there. I know I didn't want to do it. Just didn't want to do it. All right, we got the bike loaded up. We had the trailer, the bike in there first, and then we tried to put the trailer in there. You know, the bike was kind of sideways and it didn't work. And then we tried to do the trailer with the tongue over the front. That didn't work. So what we did is we're just going to take the bike for right now. That means I'm probably will have to come back up here. And the trailer is uh, under watchful eyes right here and hopefully i can get it some maybe sometime tomorrow or something like that with some uh, other help so uh very yeah, you know, cool. this is unusual for me i'm in a four-wheel uh vehicle here and uh the motorcycle is in the back you can see it there in the window and the trailer stay in here that means I've got to figure out how to get back over here and get that or if I have to wait till the motorcycle will be fixed, but I prefer not to. I prefer to get the trailer over into Texas, anyway closer and then Head south by South Cedar Street toward US 64 West. That's where we're going. <laughs>
took off down the road with uh, Rich and and my, my bike and my trailer being tucked in in the corridor of the hotel with the manager there that said, hey, he would uh, keep an eye on it. Texas! Back in Texas, look at that. Yes, sir. I got a sticker on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're coming up in the text line. Yeah, back in Texas. It's dark here and we just dropped the bike off here in the Burleson area, actually Joshua, Texas. So we got that part done and expecting the uh, trailer to be delivered tomorrow. There, I got a friend that's picking it up in Raton and it should be back tomorrow evening or the day next. Uh, that Also that next day, Paul called me from Joshua, Texas and he said that it was the drive shaft that need to be replaced. Well, I had some ideals thrown to me that I could call a couple of these conversion places that convert two wheels to trikes uh, and see if they had any rear ends left. And I, I called Kent with Texas Sidecars over in Donny, Texas, Donny, Texas, I think that's how they pronounce it, Donny, Texas, and he supplied me with uh, a name of three different places. The very first one I called was Cut and Shoot Customs in Conroe, Texas. And he said, I'll just give you the rear end. And I was going, oh my gosh, that's absolutely awesome. So then I had a problem of getting to Conroe to pick that up and get it over to Joshua. So I called my friend down in Lake Jackson, Texas. He said, yeah, I'll get it. He said, maybe we can meet up in Fairfield. Uh, I said, okay, we can do that. And I tried to find a ride to Fairfield. Well, I found uh, a guy to help me out. His name's Rocky. <sighs> so uh, my friend Doug met Randall at Cut and Shoot Customs in Conroe, Texas, picked up the, uh, the rear end, gave him the whole rear end. So he headed towards Fairfield. Well, it's Rocky and he, drove over and met Doug at Bucky's in uh, Madisonville uh, off of 45 there and he took the part and Rocky went over to Joshua, Texas and dropped off the rear end to Paul. And yeah, it's, it's kind of confusing, but it, it, it's working out, it is. and dropped it off that evening. Thank you, Randall, Rocky, and Doug. Y'all are awesome. Love you guys. Thank you very much. The next day, Paul calls me around 10 a.m. and he says, bike's done. <laughs> I was going, oh my gosh, the bike is done. Uh, so I said, great, I'll pick it up uh, later this afternoon. Okay, cool. My daughter drove me all the way over to, with the grandkids, uh, drove me over to Joshua, Texas, and uh, to pick up the bike. It cost me $125 total for getting that part put on. Thank you, Paul. You're awesome. Everybody in this whole story is awesome. Thanks for my daughter for dropping me off there. And, uh, getting the bike. Now, while all that was going on that first day, well, on the way down, I got a call from Tom Jones. No, not the singer Tom Jones. Uh, my friend Tom Jones out of Denton, Texas. He called and I said, hey, is there anything I could do for you? And I said, I still need to get my trailer over here. And he said, yeah, we'll do that. So he volunteered and got my, picked up my trailer. Uh, he did, he was going to put it on another trailer, and I said, well, you got a trailer hitch on your truck, right? And he goes, yeah. I said, well, just stick it on the uh, uh, the trailer hitch and just haul it back. And he did. Well, on the way back, about five miles from his house, the uh, right uh, trailer tire blew, blew up. It was just sliced in half. 
and he pulled over, unhooked it, went and got his trailer, loaded it up on his trailer, went over there and he came down to my place and unloaded it. Um, absolutely awesome. And all this happened within two days. <laughs> yeah, two days. All right. uh, here's my trailer. The world famous Tom Jones here. Uh, helped me out. I love him. He's an angel. He's awesome. And uh, this is the trailer. And this is a temporary tire, but the uh, spring broke on here. So we're thinking that is the uh, reason that blew the tire out over here. <laughs> right there, look at that. My gosh, just split it in two. We're gonna unload the trailer here and that's gonna be lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All this stuff, lots of fun. Here we go. I'm going to look again. I'm going to look again at the tires. Make sure we're okay. I think we're in good shape here, Rex. All right. I'm going about a foot at a, at a time here. That's fine. We'll, we'll be going faster here in a minute. Mm-hmm. About to hit that hill. There you go. All right. Now I'm going to look at the tires again. That looks good. And that one looks pretty good. Looking good? Yep. All right. Yeah, come on with me. Ooh, there it goes. What do you think, Rex? We're doing good. Okay, now. All right, you go for it. All right. Well, I'm going to try to get it on the, uh, the hitch here on the edge. Yeah. And then we're going to put that away. All right. Get on one side. You're doing good. Okay. Almost. Oh, okay. Almost. There goes awesome Tom Jones. I'm gonna call him Awesome Tom from now on. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I really appreciate it. So I went and got two leaf springs, all the new U joints and all that other stuff, uh, to go ahead and replace the spring, which I replaced both of them. And all that stuff costs $125. <laughs> We're going on a theme here of $125. So, well, after I got all that, the springs and everything, um, I went over to Discount Tire. I've got a picture of this tire right here. Look at that. Anyway, I went over to uh, Discount Tires over there in Hearst and uh, Showed him the tire, he looked it up and stuff, said said he was gonna have to order it, and then I asked him where I could pick it up, uh, one of the other local stores, if they have it. And he goes, uh, not a problem. So he calls and he finds uh, the store in Grapevine has the tire. So he goes, I'm gonna write out the certificate and you only own nine bucks. And I said, what do you mean only own nine bucks? He goes, well, you have road hazard on the tire. I don't remember putting road hazard on the tire, but I did. So it's a blessing. So the tire's only gonna cost me nine bucks. Yep, I'm at Discount Tires. I'm gonna go get this tire replaced. And I'm pretty sure the uh, leaf spring that broke tore that up. Yeah. Well, got the new tire on. It's looking good, only cost me nine bucks. So I was back on the road the next day. Yep, the next day. So I was down uh, probably four days. It was a good thing I didn't have to be anywhere. So it was very cool. I want to thank everybody. Uh, even David Canada, I told him. He, he spread the word. 
uh, which mother, other people did, and there were probably a half a dozen people who offered to help me get my motorcycle and trailer down. You guys know who you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thanks for everybody that helped me out on this. And the bottom line is I'm back on the road, didn't cost me too much, and I'm a blessed guy. That's all I have to say. And if you've not seen my channel before, uh, I've been on the road over five years on a motorcycle, pulling a camper trailer, raising awareness and money for the cure to diabetes in memory of my son. And I go to event, to event, to speaking engagements, all kinds of stuff. If you would like to donate, go to writingforacure.com. The link will be down below. And if you want to follow me on all my ventures, that link is down below also. And if you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, you should be because YouTube pays me gas money. So please subscribe, watch my videos. Catch you on the road with a motorcycle that is running and repaired and so is the trailer. Send it it. Send it 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 it. Uh, even David Canada, I told him he spread it out. Spread it it. The link will be down. Blah, 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 blah.